This video is going to go over how to solve multi-step equations and there are going to be variables on both sides. This first equation, it has already been worked out, but I'm just going to go over it. Um, it says 12x minus 3 on the left side and then 4x plus 13 on the right side. Um, in the second step, it starts to show that um, our goal is we want to isolate the variable. We want them to all be on one side, and right now they're on two. So the variables are the letters, and then we want the constant numbers, the ones that are alone, to also be together, but on the opposite side is the variable. So this first step um, that's worked out, one thing I like to do is separate the equation into left and right side. So I'm just going to draw a line down the equal sign. So they're getting rid of this 4x and they are moving it to this side. So for me to get rid of four things, I have to subtract four things. Whatever I do to one side, I have to do to the other side. So if I take away 4x's over here, I need to take away 4x's on this side. So this says minus 4x and I'm doing the terms that are alike get combined. So when I take away 4x's from this side, that eliminates this one, I only have 13 left. And then when I take away 4x's from this side, 12 minus 4 is 8. So I have 8x minus 3 equals 13. Now I have a constant number on the left and a constant number on the right. I need to get rid of this one so that just constant numbers are alone on the opposite side of the variable. To get rid of the minus 3, the opposite of that is plus 3, so this would get it back to 0. If I add 3 on this side, I have to add 3 on this side. Whatever you do to one side, we're going to do to the opposite side. That cancels out, and then there's only 8x left over here, and then 13 plus 3 is 16. Now the last thing I have to do is divide both sides by 8, because that's the number with the variable, or I think in my head 8 times what is 16, and then that would be 2. The second one, um, what we're going to do, it's the same exact equation. We thought the answer was 2, okay? So I'm going to put 2 in where the x was on both sides of the equation to show that they really do equal the same. So if I thought x was 2, I would put a 2 here and say 12 times 2 is 24, then minus 3. 24 minus 3 is 21. Then I would check the other side of the equation. It said 4x plus 13. So if I put a 2 there, 4 times 2 is 8. Then I still have plus 13. 8 plus 13 is 21. If I get both sides to equal the same number, then check mark, yes. When I solved it, I did get the right answer for x. So now we're gonna try some on our own. Again, the first step is we're gonna isolate the variable, put all the letters on one side. Then after that, we'll isolate the constant numbers and move them to the opposite side. I like to draw a line down the center to separate the left and the right. I am Going, I like to put my letters on the left side, but it's totally your choice. To get rid of 5c, okay, it says adding 5c, the opposite is either takeaway or negative because really they mean the same thing. So minus 5c, minus 5c. When I do that, I like to write mine up and down instead of sideways. But when I do that, 12 minus 5 is 7c. Then I'm going to bring down this plus 18 equals, and then I just have 4 left because 5 minus 5 canceled out. The next thing that I want to do is isolate the constant numbers. I have a plus 18 or a positive 18 and a 4. I need them to be together. I do not want it to be with the variable. So my next step is to get rid of adding 18 or get rid of positive 18. And that is minus 18 or negative 18 on both sides. 
When I do that, I'm going to bring down the leftover variable, which is C. 18 minus 18 is 0. And then 4, here's when we need to be careful. 4 minus 18, I'm taking away a bigger number. That means the answer is going to be negative, And it would be negative 14. Okay, last step. I'm either going to think in my head 7 times something is negative 14. Or I divide both sides by 7. Divide this side by 7. I could type in my calculator if I wasn't sure. Negative 14 divided by 7. And I should get 2. C equals negative 2. Not just positive 2, but negative 2. And that would be um, my final answer. I could check my work. And the way I would do that is I would come back up to the top and I would use this side. I would say 12C and I think it's negative two. So I would do 12 times negative two plus 18 and see if that equals the same as the opposite side, which is four plus five. And then instead of C, I would say negative two. So 12 times negative 2 is negative 24 plus 18. Negative 24 plus 18 is negative 6. Then on the right side, I have 4 plus 5 times negative 2 is negative 10. 4 plus negative 10 is negative 6. And then I could say, yes, these equal the same, negative 6 and negative 6. That's how I could check it. All right, we're going to look at another one. Again, I'm going to draw a line down the center to separate the left and right. My first step is I want to make all the variables be on one side. So I'm going to get rid of this side. It says 5s. The opposite of 5s is negative 5s or take away 5s. When I do that, I have negative 2 minus 5. If both of these are negative or minus, we really add them together. If you're unsure, you should check it with your calculator. So negative 7s, then I'm going to bring down my add 3 equals, and then bring down my add 24. Now on the left side, I have a variable and a constant. I can't have both of them together, so I need to move this constant number over here to this side, I need to get rid of it or eliminate it. And the opposite of add 3 is subtract 3 or negative 3. Either way, they mean the same thing. When I do that, I'm going to carry down my negative 7s. 3 minus 3 cancels each other out. And then 24 minus 3 is 21. The last step, I can try and think negative 7 times something is 21, or I can divide by negative 7. Both sides divided by negative 7, and that would let me see that S equals negative 3. Now again, I could come up to the top, and I could check right up in here. I would put negative 2 times negative 3, because I think s is negative 3, plus 3 equals the same as 5 times negative 3 plus 24. So negative 2 times negative 3, that's positive 6. 6 plus 3 is 9. I'm running out of room on that side. Then 5 times negative 3 is negative 15 plus 24. Negative 15 plus 24 is also 9. So these two equal the same thing of 9 and 9. That means I did it correct. Okay, last one. Draw the line down the center to separate the left and right side. I'm going to take this variable and eliminate it. I'm going to isolate all the letters and I'm going to put them on the left. The opposite of negative 2y is positive 2y. 
positive 2y. 7 plus 2 is 9, so I have 9y. I'm going to bring down my add 8 equals, and then bring down minus 64. Then I have a variable and a constant on the same side. I don't want that, so I need to eliminate or isolate the constant and put it over here with this one. So the opposite of adding 8 is take away 8. So minus 8, minus 8, or I can think of it as negative 8. Now on the left side, I still have 9y. 8 minus 8 cancels each other out. Then negative 64 minus 8, when these are the same, that actually means add the digits. If you're unsure, check with your calculator. Then the last step, 9 times something is negative 72. If you know it, awesome. If not, divide by 9 on both sides. And then it should say y equals negative 8. Now I can come up to the top and check my work. I think it's negative 8, so 7 times negative 8 plus 8, negative 56 plus 8, that is negative 48. Then on the opposite side, I had negative 2y minus 64, so I would say negative 2 times negative 8 minus 64, then negative 2 times negative 8 is positive 16, 16 minus 64 is negative 48, so those are both the same, so yay, I did it right, I got negative 48 and negative 48.